New from Eureka Classics is The Dead and the Deadly, the latest Sammo Hung uh, movie. And I'm always, always excited to jump into a Sammo Hung movie. I thought this was going to be along the lines of Encounters of the Spooky Kind or Mr. Vampire. But it's not entirely that way. In fact, it's a little bit all over the place. As usual, uh, Sammo Hung plays a character titled Fat Boy. He works and lives with his uh, uncle and they kind of deal with the funeral services part of, of their community. And when uh, his friend Lun Choi uh, comes back dead along with his new wife and her brother, he kind of senses that there's something not quite right here. Something that he wants to delve into a little bit more. So he decides where the body is laying in wait to inspect to see if there's been any kind of foul play at heart here. What he doesn't know is that Lun Choi has actually faked his own death. <laughs> He's lying there awake, just waiting because of a payout that will happen. Because his new wife is pregnant, when he dies and the child is born, the inheritance that his father left will go to that child. And he really wants that money. In fact, he wants it so much that that's not his wife. That's not his child. And the brother is in fact the lover of his supposed wife. He really died these few months. Who is this? Oh. As Lin Choi lies there, the, the, the brother and sister, or supposed brother and sister, realise that this is what's going to happen. When the baby's born and Lin Choi's dead, they get the money. So they actually kill Lin Choi after a series of shenanigans where he is avoiding his friend Fat Boy and pretending to be dead. He is now in fact murdered and he, his spirit comes back asking Fat Boy for help to get revenge against the people that wronged him. And it turns into a kind of comedic movie with some martial arts and some surprises later on. <laughs> the thing about this 97 minute movie is I expected more martial arts. I expected more along the lines of encounters of the spooky kind or like I said Mr Vampire and it's not that kind of movie. There is some martial arts in it but it plays more on the comedic and the acrobatic elements um, of Sammo Hung. <laughs> And to be honest, I found it worked remarkably well. There are some really interesting set pieces. There is uh, some fun action set pieces later on where Fat Boy is imbued with the spirit of his dead friend and they suddenly have these martial arts skills that he didn't have before. <laughs> And it leads to some exquisite set pieces. But for me, the most inconsistent part of the movie was the story itself. It was all over the place, which kept it fresh and constantly moving, but it felt as if it was trying to be too many things and struggling to stick to one kind of tone. But that's something that's not outside the norm with a lot of these Asian films. Sammo Hung, as usual, pokes fun at himself, does some wonderful acting, some awful acting at certain times and delivers some fantastic acrobats and action set pieces throughout the film. I did like the idea of this friend who, who feels that his friend's death has been wrong and he wants to help him, he wants to try and solve it, even if he's getting in the middle of all kinds of shenanigans that are going on. <laughs> Uh, the evil brother and supposed sister um, are, are horrible characters but they are really fun to watch because it gives us an antagonist to root against. These uh, pairing are duplicitous, they're horrible, they're twisted and they're just out for a quick buck. Save me! Save me! 
sin ya. So they deserve what they're going to get throughout this film. There is some real uh, twists and turns, like I said, that I just really didn't expect. Apart from that comedic first half where we have the, the constant kind of uh, trying to avoid fat boy finding out the lone Choi has is actually alive and pretending to be dead, to the fact where the ghost is there, to the, the added on final third, which really felt um, like a, an extra twist that we didn't need, but I fully enjoyed that section of the movie. Right on to the ending, which is just one of those hilarious endings, uh, which I particularly loved. Not as funny as Encounters of the Spooky Kind, but an ending where he could possibly die, but he's going to go for what he's going to do anyway. I thought The Dead and the Deadly was really fun um, and well worth checking out. Um, let's have a look at the extras, see what it has to offer. So here we are in the disc for The Dead and the Deadly. The film has several audio tracks. We have the Cantonese audio theatrical mix, which is the one I watched. We have the home video mix. We have the English mono classic dub, which I'd be curious about giving a listen. And then we have two commentaries. The first one by Frank Jeng and Michael Worth, and the second by Mike Leader and Arne Vinema. Uh, both kind of touch on similar uh, subject matters or similar points throughout their commentaries but both are equally fascinating and fun. When we get to the special features we have the Samo Hung interview uh, which is 21 minutes um, and um, it was really quite fun just to listen to him chat away uh, talking about you know his current state of filmmaking. Next we have the Samo Hung Q&A um, from the same film festival which was 57 minutes in length. He kind of talks through an interpreter in this one whereas in the interview he's is, is, is kind of chatting away in English. But again, there's some interesting questions and some not so interesting among it as well which is quite fun to hear. And then we have the trailer which is 4 minutes 33 seconds as well. And that's the disc for The Dead and the Deadly. So there we are, The Dead and the Deadly from Eureka Classics. Well worth picking up, I think it's fantastic, another hit for them. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. Don't forget to hit this video with a like, there's more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff, and in the description box are links to the Patreon membership programme, manvfilm.com. Thanks for watching.